It's the trash truck. It's really loud. I'm gonna wait for it to go away first. <laughs> Hello, good morning or good evening. Whenever you are watching this, I hope you are doing well. My name is Catherine. Today I'm gonna be talking about some releases in 2020 that I desperately wanted to read, but I didn't. <laughs> set some pretty high goals throughout the year of what books I want to read, but I am very much a mood reader, so it is difficult sometimes for me to finish all the books that I intend to read. I also have a problem where I don't finish series. I don't always read sequels of books, and they're series that I enjoy, I just don't, I, I don't finish them. So all of these were releases in 2020. All of these are books that I wanted to read. I either love the author or I heard a lot of really incredible things about them. I just never got around to them and considering I only have like one month left of the year, I'm probably not going to finish these. So starting out with sequels of books that I've already read the first or second book even and just haven't read the the book in the series that came out this year. I have Ruthless Gods by Emily A. Duncan. This is the sequel to Wicked Saints. Wicked Saints is a book that I read towards the beginning of like quarantine and I fell in love with it. I was not expecting to like it as much as I did. I think probably because I was seeing a lot of like not the best reviews of it. I had really low expectations and I was blown away. I really love the world building. I love the magic system and we were left with such a crazy cliffhanger. So I, um, yeah, I, I need to pick this up. Next is Dear Justice, which is the sequel to Dear Martin by Nick Stone. Dear Martin is another book that I read this year. I read it in like May or June and I was blown away by Nick Stone's writing. I hadn't read anything she had written before, so I went into it not really knowing a lot about it, but I knew that she's like best friends with Angie Thomas and Angie Thomas speaks really highly of her, so I wanted to read a book of hers. That book was heartbreaking, very eye-opening, and just beautifully written. Again, this is another one that is top priority on my TBR for next year. The next book is Majesty by Catherine McGee. This is the sequel to American Royals. I have a complicated relationship with American Royals. I loved a lot of aspects of it. I didn't like some other ones, but I really, really wanted to read the sequel. Again, mostly because it left you off with quite the cliffhanger and I, I need to know what happens. I need to know how the story ends. I'm pretty sure it's just a duology. I don't think there's going to be a third one. So I need to know how the story ends, how it all unfolds. It was a lot of people being in love with the wrong person. So I need to see that they all end up with the right person. The next book is Chosen by Kirsten White. This is the sequel to Slayer, which is a Buffy the Vampire Slayer continuation. And I really love the way that the book took, you know, characters that you love and concepts that I just love from Buffy and flipped them around. It was so good. I also read it a really long time ago, so I hope I remember everything for a minute. It's kind of one of the reasons why I've been holding off on reading Chosen, because I just, I don't totally remember everything that happened in Slayer, so I'm definitely gonna have to look up a synopsis. Next is Heart of Flames by Nikki Palpretto. This is the sequel to Crown of Feathers. Crown of Feathers is a beautiful fantasy book that involves phoenixes and phoenix writers. Again, this is another book that left us off on a cliffhanger, and I need to read the sequel. However, I'm very intimidated because it's really thick. I get really nervous about reading longer books just because I have a short attention span. It's bad, but it, it, it's what, it's who I am. The last of the sequels is Take a Hint, Danny Brown by Talia Hibbert. This is the sequel to Get a Life, Chloe Brown, which is a book that I very, like literally last month I read it. So I feel like I get a little bit of a pass for not reading the second book quite yet. Although I do tend to, if like all the books are out in a series, I try to read as many of the books that are already out because I'm bad at finishing series. So if I don't read it right away, who knows when I'm gonna read it. Anyway, it's a super cute romance, and because the third book in the series, Evie Brown, is coming out next year, so I definitely want to read 
Danny Brown before E.B. Brown comes out. Next are books that I own that came out this year. I bought them because I thought I was going to read them right away and <laughs> I didn't. First of all, I have three Alcrate books that I haven't read yet that I need to read. I got really behind last year on reading my Alcrate books, so I'm trying to catch up on all of them this year. First is Goddess in the Machine by Laura Beth Johnson. Did I get the name right? Heck yeah. So this is a sci-fi. It is about a girl who she like was put into cryosleep and accidentally was like left in cryosleep for an extra like thousand years or something. And when she wakes up, people are like worshiping her as a goddess. There is also a prince who believes that if he gets her on his side, he can win the cr the throne, the crown, something like that. It sounds really interesting, sounds weird. Um, I have been getting a lot more into sci-fi this year, so I am excited to read this. Next is Star Daughter by Shafeta Kardar. Okay, first of all, can we talk about how beautiful this book is? Like, <laughs> this one is about a girl who is the descendant of a star. She's like half star, half human, which is like, pretty cool. She accidentally injures her father somehow with some like star powers and has to act as the star's competition. No, she has to act as the star's champion. She has to act as the star's champion in like some competition so she can get like full star power and heal her father. That was a terrible description. Oh my gosh. Really beautiful. I've heard some like not great reviews, but like I'm still gonna read it because like look how pretty this copy is. The last of the Alcrate books that I need to read is Horrid by Katrina Leno. This doesn't seem like the kind of book that I would read, so I'm kind of nervous to read it. It's a horror where this mom and daughter move back to the mom's like old childhood home because her dad dies somehow and the house has like some secrets like a secret door room that someone's living in or something i don't know i don't really do horror but i want to read it because i want to know what's up so um i don't know maybe i'll include this in a vlog where i read horror books we'll see what happens next is all the things we never knew by lyra tammany um this is about teens falling in love while playing basketball. This is definitely a book that I like impulse bought because I heard someone, I'm pretty sure Nick Stone was like talking about it and I was like, well, I trust Nick Stone with my life, so guess I'm gonna buy it. And here we are. Last of the books that I own is A Song of Wraiths and Ruin by Roseanne A. Brown. First of all, classic YA fantasy title, but I did see this book all over Bookstagram and Booktube when it first came out. It's an enemies to lovers. They're both trying to kill each other, so of course they're gonna fall in love. It has a lot of like dark magic and inspiration from West African mythology? Mythology? Lore. That's the word I'm looking for. Again, this is definitely a book that Booktube made me buy, but in all like realness, I, I really want to read it. It sounds really good. It sounds like something that I would totally love. Finally, there are quite a few books that came out that I haven't bought yet or I like intend on like borrowing them from the library. First one is Ray Bear by Jordan Ifunko. This is a fantasy about a girl who's like competing to be part of the prince's council, but her mother like made this unbreakable wish or whatever that she like has to kill the prince even though like if she makes it on the council she has to protect the prince. Sounds complicated, sounds like a little um, enemies to lovers, which I dig. It sounds like a really cool fantasy. Next is Cinderella's Dead by Callan Byron, and this is a Cinderella continuation. I I'm pretty sure it's something where like all the girls in the kingdom have to like get married at a certain age or something. If they don't, they disappear. <laughs> Sounds cool. I love like fairy tale continuations and retellings. Definitely want to read it. Another continuation is Hood by Jenny Elder Monk. It is a Robin Hood continuation about Robin and Marion's daughter. Kind of sounds like Princess of Thieves starring Keira Knightley. It's one of my favorite movies. <laughs> I love that movie so much. Next is The Voting Booth by Brandy Colbert. I recently read The Revolution of Brady Randolph, which is also by Brandy Colbert, and I loved her writing style. This one is is about two teens fighting voter suppression. I really wanted to read it during like actual election time, but it felt 
too real. Another book that came out super recently was The Roommate by Rosie D Dannon. It's about Josh and Clara who like end up in a lease together and they're like very like opposites, I believe. Um, and then feelings happen, because of course. <laughs> Finally, the last book that I, oh, I can't believe I haven't read this yet because it looks so cute, and that is Spoiler Alert by Olivia Dade. It literally sounds like every fangirl's dream. I, I'm pretty sure this is like a fantasy of mine when I was like 14 or last week, you know, whatever. But it is about Marcus, who is an actor in like a very popular TV show, but he also writes fan fiction for his own TV show as a way to like let out all the frustration of like, no, this is what should have happened in this show that I'm in. But nobody knows that it's him. And if people find out, he could get fired. And then it also follows April, who's like a cosplayer and like artist. And she does fan art for the TV show, posted on Twitter, it blows up. And they like end up going on a date together somehow. It sounds so cute. And again, every fangirl's dream. Those are all the books that came out this year that I desperately wanted to read. There's so many more that I'm sure I forgot to talk about, but these are the ones that like were top of my list. Unfortunately, I didn't read them this year, but they are top of my list for 2021. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any of my book miss videos. I'm making 20 videos in the month of December. Let me know down in the comments what was a book that came out this year that you really wanted to read but for whatever reason didn't get to. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and until next time, bye!